friends, Sally Curtis here from the Digital Entrepreneur Show. And we've got a great show for you lined up today. As you would know, business is changing very, very quickly and the digital space is no different. And today we've got some great uh, insights from Pravin Guttam, who is Australia's leading digital entrepreneur. And he's just come back from China as the lead delegate for the uh, G20 summit. And he's been, had the opportunity to share the stage with some real leading uh, global thought leaders, such as EY and Accenture. So Pravin, do tell us a little bit about your trip uh, and what and who or who are digital entrepreneurs? Sure. Thanks. Thanks for having me, Sally. You're welcome. Great. Um, well, it's been uh, it's been just been a last month actually. I get uh, honoured to be re to represent Australia in G20, but you know I feel like it's been ages now. Mm. <laughs> Uh, the key, you know, one of the things, I mean, of course, those who don't know about what is G20, uh, Young Entrepreneurs, it's about the 20 different countries we get together every year and we talk about um, how we can create more jobs for youths uh, and what's happening in the industry and pretty much, uh, uh, pretty much about the uh, economic growth in the different uh, developed countries. So this year, the key theme was is all about digital. Uh, and one of the highlights uh, which I shared on the stage with Ernest and Young and Accenture is um, every business is a digital business, uh, which firmly aligned with uh, what I believe is uh, every entrepreneur is a digital entrepreneur. Great. Excellent. So what are the opportunities that digital entrepreneurs have and what's changing and making it exciting for them? Sure. Now, uh, as you can imagine, Sally, um, you know, it's now that business is changing such a quickly, right? Um, even now, the instant coffee is too slow. Yes. <laughs> so you can imagine how quickly the things are changing. So the, one of the highlight uh, uh, keys in digital entrepreneurship is, is entrepreneurs must need to find out, must need to explore uh, through digital. So it doesn't matter now where you are located, uh, whether that may be a small city, or uh, any other countries, the whole globe is there for you as long as you have a create a niche market. Uh, so for the for the for example, I'll give you an example which gives a more clarification. What exactly who is digital entrepreneur? Mm. So last about 2013, we started doing the business um, uh, for one of our clients. She's based in Melbourne. Uh, Mel and uh, she's a florist, right? So she have got a number of businesses, florist business. So um, in different suburbs, northern, southern suburbs, different suburbs, you have got a number of five businesses at that time when I met her, and then it was expanding. And then she hired me as a marketing specialist. She hired me, okay, probably, you know, someone referred me and, and, and then hired as a marketing specialist. When we talk about to grow her business, of course, uh, you know, we can increase her profit, right? No problem. But there is some concern, serious concern that, you know, she was after 10 years in business, she was thinking that, look, I'm not sure whether this business is right for me because the reason is she have a young kids uh, and things have been changed. The other thing is almost um, the high rental because she is in the most in top, top uh, locations. So she's paying a high rent. So as you can imagine, so, you know, 100,000 plus, you know, every year. So it's costly exercise for her. Uh, and of course, uh, you know, getting staff, wages and a lot of things, it's costing her a lot. So not that the business is great, but there's a lot of outgoing expenses. Mm -hmm. uh, and she kind of thought that, okay, look, you know, now I, I, all the 10 years I've worked hard, I've built this business, it's five, five stores and it's growing. But what is killing me is I'm not getting a free time. Mm -hmm. I'm, that's, there is no any freedom for me. And there's a lot of cost overhead. Uh, and, and that time I realized that, okay, maybe it is a concern, not just promoting, but we've got to change the business model. So that's where I, I started, I started sifting, sifting, you know, after a long conversation, after a couple of uh, meetups, then we changed the whole business model. And I said, look, it's going to be a little bit hard for you. Are you ready? And I still remember, you know, those moments when Mel says, look, no problem. As long as I get the time and profit increase, no problem. Yeah. So in just last, um, in just last uh, three years, which is in, in 2016, we changed the whole business model now. C is not in a physical location. Can you imagine? Wow. From five businesses, she's going to no, uh, no physical presence. Correct. Which means... Big changes. Big changes, which means she can save the money. That's one. Second thing is 
Now we have changed the business model, not that she is located and waiting for the customers to arrive, mm. but they are more proactive. So she is now mobile best. Yeah. Mobile blessed gift shops and florists, so they do a deliver, a delivery in throughout the Melbourne, and now they are growing. So yes. just last, um, just last month, you know, when we had a chat up, she she had about nine vans. So she is, you know, the the boys are going through the and they are delivering it. Yeah. Right. So what does that mean? Is pretty much she is increasing her profit, right? There's no cost over it, and also the business has been almost now it's going to be double. And the net profits is getting more and more. Uh, so the key here is she's also getting a more time with the family and all the business, not only we innovate, but we automate it. As well. So, uh, and just last year in Valentine's Day, we, we have to, I remember we have to hold, shut down the website, completely booked out. So we couldn't deliver the yeah. three days prior. Wow. So that was the whole thing. So that's what I would say as a true digital entrepreneur. So it's not about following the traditional way, but disrupting the industry yep. or doing something different in the industry so that you would have more time, create more wealth yep. and more freedom for your family. Fantastic. So having achieved that with that client and many other clients that you have done over the years that you've been in business, given them their time back with their family and really increased, increased and driven their profitability, what other sorts of things can a business owner do to succeed in that space? Sure. Well, well that's a or very to stay on top. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's a, that's a really good question, Sal. And that's where you know, in um, in a lot of time in in my master classes, I teach entrepreneurs. I um, mean, it's, it's there is just fundamental key elements to be a digital entrepreneur. So the first one is always about positioning. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, positioning in the marketplace, like for the for the male, for the florist. We didn't create another floor, just like any another second florist in Melbourne. So we we niche that market very clearly, who the clients in, and how they are spending, uh, and then we change the whole business model. So the, the idea here is to then positioning is a key, right? That's one. Now, second thing, uh, which is a key in the market is okay. You have a good positioning, but how can you package that well? Okay, so package. Yep. Packaging, packaging up. Like for in her case, what we did is we create a whole VIP club. You know, wow. and everyone wants to be VIP, yeah. isn't it? And yeah. treated as VIP. So we introduced the new club membership system so that clients don't have to think. So any any of the special occasion, like anniversary, birthday, or any reminder, or any of the, they're giving a value add mm. as a premium service, mm. So which is a no-brainer, right? So packaging is a critical. Yeah. Now, third thing which I always talk and which I'm a great advocate is a promotion. I mean, of course, you are. You have a fantastic website, a fantastic app, or fantastic uh, any of your marketing things. But if you're not promoting, mm. doesn't go anywhere. Exactly. Yeah. So the key here is to positioning, packaging, and promoting, so you can increase your profit. Fantastic. That's great. So pack, positioning, packaging, and promoting are your mm -hmm. keys to the success for yourself and for your clients. That's exactly. Great. So what's new for you and how can people get in contact with you that want to take advantage of your marketing expertise? Well, uh, the, key, the key here, Sally, is uh, I think for every entrepreneur like, like those who are listening today, is the key here is uh, innovate. Mm. Uh, and I, I remember Steve just saying, you know, think differently. Yes. You know? yeah. So as a business owner, we always focus on okay, doing the tasks. And getting the tasks done. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fair enough. But the, the also idea is to think differently. So the question is like, how can you innovate it? Mm. How can you better uh, penetrate in the marketplace? So thinking differently is a key. Uh, and again, um, and then automating it yeah. so that there is no any labor intensive uh, and there is a lot of freedom to achieve. So mm. you know you can you can you can run the business anywhere from the world. It doesn't matter. Whether you're in Silicon Valley or you, whether you're in France or you, whether you are in beautiful city like Adelaide, yep. so it doesn't matter. So for the key for entrepreneurs is innovate, automate, and then once you automate, then you start acceleration. Yep. So you accelerate the, your business. So lots of keys there, some really great uh, strategies, and of course people are going to be really keen to get in contact with you. So how do they go about doing that? Now, uh, well, uh, we run the different seminars uh, across the town, across Australia, and we are we are thinking to do in international area as well so a lot of a um, lot of the workshop in Brisbane in Sydney Melbourne uh, as well as in Adelaide a lot of the cities we do the workshop so if you're really serious about growing your business uh, then uh, okay look um, please attend the workshop 
uh, and, or else if you are uh, if you are international, if you are in different countries, uh, we have got our virtual programs as well. It depends upon what the need is, whether that may be a marketing program, a business, a sales program. Fantastic. Well, there's some fantastic insights on how you can take advantage and innovate and really increase your profits uh, in your business. Uh, thank you very.